Hey everyone, I wanted to give you a channel update and let you know what's been going on with me. So many of you have been sending emails and posting on my Facebook page. It's July 1st and I wanted to let you know that I'm going through a huge transformation in my work and of course my life and I'm no longer going to be doing the monthly horoscopes. I know things have been so weird and intense and scary with this pandemic, yet at the same time, for me, I'm very excited about what I am doing at this place in my life. I'm very focused on my courses that I offer. My YouTube Insider course that I did this winter was very successful. And right now I've been working on my ad campaign and it is so much work and there's so much I have no idea what I'm doing. So I have to learn all this. And I've already spent three days recording and the videos I've created after three full days of working, none of them are good enough to be considered ad material. I have a great team I'm working with <laughs> and they are experts at this. So that's where I've been. Now what's happening to me and it's happening with you too is Uranus in Taurus, Saturn and Pluto and Jupiter and Capricorn. Well, I have a Leo rising and I have Taurus on my midheaven. Your midheaven is your destiny in the world your career legacy, your achievement in the world, what you do in the world. And for me, I've been in this role of astrologer for the past 25 years. Well, I am moving out of that role. And Uranus is right on my midheaven. Saturn in Aquarius is squaring Uranus and will be squaring Uranus in my chart all of next year. In fact, my natal Uranus is in Leo, and so I'm going through and about to go through Saturn and Uranus forming a powerful T-square to my midheaven, what I do in the world, out of my sixth house of work, Dharma. And we all have a Dharma. We all have work that we do in the world. And these guys aren't maybe planets. Now, Pluto has been in there drilling down, transforming how I work for many years. And the minute that Uranus went into Taurus back in 2018, I started creating courses, which I love doing. I'm very passionate about helping people grow their businesses, be more prosper prosperous, work with their passion and creativity. So, 100% of my energy has been there. 100% of my energy has been here. And I'm tired. And then you throw in the pandemic, which has made everything weird and awful and intense. But I want to let you know, I am healthy and strong and practicing social distance when I go out. So it's not about that. It's about my own personal transformation and what the planets are doing with me in my own astrology and what they're doing with you as well. Wherever Uranus is in your chart, it is about liberation and it is about evolving. And you can't stay in a role that no longer is part of your soul evolution. We all have soul agreements. These are agreements that we've made before we're even born. So, for instance, we have soul agreements to the families we're born into, to the children that we give birth to, to the relationships that we have, to the work that we do, the Dharma. When that soul agreement is complete, that means it's time to graduate. That means it's mission complete. And if you stay beyond the expiration date of the soul agreement, then you're not listening to your soul. And that causes depression. And that kept happening with me.
When I did the year ahead, the 2020 astrology forecasts, not only did you not want them because they were kind of on the negative side, let's face it, this year is straight from hell, but I had to be honest, but you didn't want them. You really do want, and I do too. I like the light and fluffy. I like people telling me I'm going to be prosperous. I'm going to be, oh, you know, whatever they're going to say that feels good. I, I like that too. I'm human. But astrology, you can't mess with the astrology. The planets are where they are. They're going to do what they're going to do. And when planets are in Capricorn, it is serious business, as we all know. So when you are not listening to your soul, it causes depression. Depression is not the enemy. Depression is your soul talking to you, trying to tell you, why are you doing this when you're done? You've graduated. Mission complete. Evolve. Move on. So. This happens to us in relationships, in jobs that we do, in living locations. So I, I experienced that. When I did the last video, the Sagittarius lunar eclipse, I woke up the next day depressed. And I couldn't figure it out. I'm like, why am I so depressed? And then I realized I'm not supposed to be doing these anymore. So I have to step back. And that's where I've been here in the month of June, stepping back and focusing on where my passion is at this time. So if you're experiencing this too right now, where you feel like, you know, whatever the work you're doing, it's drudgery, it's making you depressed, or a relationship you're in, or, or wherever you're at, that's your soul speaking to you, letting you know that you've completed this soul agreement and it's time to move on to your next soul agreement. Now, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I'm no longer going to be doing monthly zodiacs. I still want to do some astrology videos. So I'd like to come on and do, say, Mercury's going direct on July 12th. Yay, this is good news. I would like to talk about the astrology with you and focus on all of us. So when I give a message, it's for all of us because we're all going through this huge transformation with Saturn and Pluto in Capricorn and Saturn has just stepped back into Capricorn today and they're in my sixth house of work and dharma, how I, my service to the world. As Uranus is approaching my midheaven, how I present my, myself in the world and my career and my legacy and achievement. And so all of this is changing for me. And I need to be listening and evolving on in how I show up here and how I work with you. And I don't even consider myself a teacher. I'm more of a preacher. <laughs> I'm here to preach passion and inspiration and following your passion and using your creativity and passion to be prosperous in life. And I don't even consider that I have students. I refer to them as participants. And I have one participant, Tish, who is doing the monthly astrology. And I have her link below in the show more section. Check her out. Check out other people on YouTube as well, especially the new ones. Give them a chance. You know, it's really hard to come on here and become skillful at it and be able to reach your audience in a way where the messages you're channeling and conveying hits home, is right on the money with everyone. So it's a real skill to acquire. And it requires a lot of work and a lot of time. And each time you do it, you get better and better at it. And so I think Tish is great. And she makes a lot of astrology videos and she's making the monthly videos because this is, and when I help astrologers in my courses, I tell them, if you want to do well on, on YouTube, you got to give people what they want and they want their monthly forecasts. They like weekly ones too, but especially the monthlies. And so 
participants that listen and grab on, their numbers start to increase and grow. And that's what I'm here to help people do is build their businesses and increase and grow and be more prosperous. I love astrology. I've been following astrology since I was 10 years old and it has been my career for the past 25 years. I started my new career in 2018 and ran both of them full time and it's been exhausting. <laughs> then you throw in a pandemic. Oh my goodness. It's just been nuts lately. But I am very excited about what I'm doing. And I want to contribute to my YouTube channel and make videos for you. And I want to focus on the issues that we're all experiencing right now. All of this uncertainty and, you know, depression when it comes up, anxiety, being scared at times. I know, you know, it gets scary for me too every time I go out and I do something new like this and leave the familiarity and the comfortability of what's known to me. When I started my courses in 2018, it was very scary for me because I had to learn all of these new skills of working with people on, on this level. And now I'm, I'm using an ad campaign and this is all new skills for me. And it's scary. And I'm going to invest a lot of money. And so it's like, okay, here we go again. However, I do believe that if your dreams don't scare you, they're not big enough. And I believe in dreaming big. So I want to come on my channel with you and be with you and still be part of your life and add value to your life, so help you solve problems, be inspired, and focus on what we're all going through. Focus on business, entrepreneurship. I love business. I have a business background and I'm an entrepreneur and I love working with creative people and entrepreneurs and the entrepreneurial spirit and prosperity. Prosperity is so important. Prosperity, the material is as important as the spiritual. And that's something I had to learn the hard way that the more abundant you are, the more people you can help. And creator wants you abundant. Creator wants you inspired. Because when you're inspired and abundant, you help other people and you can help more people. So I want to focus on your prosperity with you and your creativity and your well-being and your spirituality and the astrology and incorporate them all in together so that when I come on and I do a video, I'm focusing on something that is important for all of us and is of value to you, is, is I'm still being of, in service to you. It's just a different role. And that's what's been happening. And this is the update to give you a heads up, let you know where I'm at, and that I will be back in July to make more videos and inspire you, empower you, talk about the astrology, because it is so intense, and it's drilling down in my chart, and it's only going to intensify next year. I mean, my astrology is so intense right now, and Looking at my transits, that's where the planets are right now, aspecting my natal chart. It's only going to get more intense when Saturn comes into Aquarius. It is game on. And he's heading right for that midheaven, and Uranus is right there. And those two are squaring. And Saturn and Uranus squaring, it can break you if you're not listening, if you're not doing the will of God, if you're not listening to your own soul. And, and following your soul's desires and evolving and changing. But if you are listening, it is a tremendous opportunity to achieve great things, accomplish your heart's desire, and move up to the next level. And so I want to work with you in helping you do that as well. Because you have the same transits as well in your chart. Somewhere Uranus is saying, what do you love and value now? Where do you need to change? 
where do you need to transform? Saturn is asking me, is your heart in what you're doing? And if the answer is no, these guys aren't maybe planets, as well as Pluto, completely transforming how I work. So I'm listening and I'm moving up in what I'm doing and I want you to come with me. <laughs> so take good care of you, be well, be prosperous, and be inspired. <laughs>